Oftentimes, when you think about health disparities, the problem seems way too big to fix. And I think coming in as a medical student, that was my biggest challenge. I needed to focus on what were some actionable changes that I could make that would impact my immediate community at my medical school in the city that I live in. At my school, a lot of people are very interested in advocacy work, but medical students don't really have the avenue to get started in that. Partially because of time constraints for medical students, one thing that I recently got involved in is a social justice program that is aimed at increasing awareness about social justice causes, as well as connecting medical students with mentors who are significantly involved in advocacy work. We decided that we wanted to use media to disseminate information about the people who do it and how you can get connected to them. During my preclinical years, I've volunteered as a UM Cure Scholar. So the Cure Scholars program is a program that matches up medical students with elementary school students here in Baltimore City to be engaged in a rigorous program to improve the students' performance in STEM fields. My involvement in that program really opened my eyes to the barriers that young people face when they grow up in an environment where they're not empowered. I'm one of the co-presidents of our LGBTQ health student organization. In that organization, we put together talks where we have people who are on the front lines of addressing the healthcare needs of the LGBT community. We have them come and speak to our student population and share their stories of how they address health disparities. A lot of the students have come to university maybe never having been exposed to having a conversation that involves a lot of those personal details. It requires a level of skill to be able to comfortably have that conversation with someone and frame it in a way that the patient understands that their health needs are being understood and prioritized by their provider. So students can come out of that course feeling better prepared to dialogue with their patients and address the health needs that their patients present them with. The work can be taxing, but the progress that you see when you institute changes that are effective really keep your advocacy work going. Hopefully those things will lead to greater involvement in addressing health disparities through changes in educational policy at the medical school level, as well as increasing the representation of underrepresented minorities in medicine.